but what I've seen in selling, you know, I've been retailing and wholesaling hair dryers forever is it's really just, you know, each year I go to the trade shows and they show me the new, you know, 1875 or the 2000 watt. It's basically just what some new slogan on the, on the box, but it's the same damn product and they don't need to innovate it. They just want to say, this is the super turbo. They add ionic one, you know, these things are, they do make changes, but they're not, it's, it's just not been innovated. And the, the th you know, when you plug it into the wall, you can draw 1875 watts all day. So they're just going to stick with that and just market it. And as yeah. you said, no interest in innovating. And, you know, Dyson did innovate it and we give them, you know, kudos for what they did. It's a beautiful design. You know, they, they have great reviews. It's sold all over the world, but it is still corded and it's still a nichrome wire technology so before we jump into this yeah. why had it never been done before i mean you think of all the technological oh, hundreds of reasons yeah uh, so, well, I'm I'm so one, one of the you. things that I, <laughs> immediately comes to my mind is power that's yeah. it. it it's is that strictly that's it that's okay it. yeah so you do the math yeah. and with conventional hair dryers and conventional batteries that's a 10 or 15 pound battery or it runs for 90 seconds right. so we had to that was the first obstacle we had to overcome. Okay. So I, I was getting my hair cut today and I asked Sherilyn, mm -hmm. who uh, cuts my hair. I was like, hey, have you ever heard of a cordless hair dryer? She's like, doesn't exist. And I was like, what do you mean? She's like, doesn't exist. I said, why, why doesn't it exist? It does. She's like, if it exists, it doesn't put any power out. Right. And so That's I was right. like, let and me show was... you this website. Yeah. And, then, and then I was like, what are, you, what are like the immediate things that you think of? She's like, battery's not going to last yeah. and there's no power. And I was like, okay, I'm not, now I know what to ask. These are good yeah. questions. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Yep. So what, what we really focused on was our unique heating element, right? And the way it interacts with the battery and some of the different aspects of how air flows through a cordless hair dryer. We also came up with one of the first patents we got was related to very high tech. It has to do with how the dryer can communicate outside of the unit itself. So it can actually send signals to a phone or a Wi-Fi. Like an app or something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and basically give feedback on, you know, how you're using the dryer, you know, take readings off of the temperature of your hair. We haven't done that with this unit, but that, that is, but yeah. that was actually the first there. issued patent that we yeah. got when we were testing. This is like the Theragun where you can set it, like you can basically massage your body and it'll tell you if you're, if you're going too hard. Yeah. Exactly. There's yeah. a sensing mm -hmm. technology that links to an app to make right. sure you're getting the best massage. Sure. Yeah. So we're, we're okay. looking forward so to So you guys have that. that. Right. And then you can share it with your hairstylist. You can, you know, the Oh, wow. You, know, okay. you can get recommendations, recommendations on products, products, products yeah. things like that. But yeah, and a lot, a couple of the patents are more sort of protective as well. I mean, sort of looking into, as you mentioned, you can't patent a cordless hair dryer. So we, yeah. we have some sort of defensive or preventative patents. But you can patent anybody. this. You can patent uh, probably the way it breaks apart. You can yeah, maybe there's, some, there's a lot of design patents, but we actually the, have function, the you put functional on the front, patents that, that the concentrator. actually as, yeah, air, as the airflow concentrator. comes in. Those would be a design patent. Yeah. yeah. But in terms of functioning patents, as airflow is coming in, it's cooling the battery pack. And as that heat's coming off the pack, which is not a lot, but it is there. Yeah, for sure. It's actually adding more heat. So that's another sort of... So, so what's interesting about that patent is somebody who's trying to create a battery-powered hairdryer cannot allow the heat from that battery into their airflow because we've got that patent. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's going to be a tough workaround. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly.